Unraveling, ruffled by annoyance, a deep dive. Hello, and welcome to our language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that captures a very specific feeling, ruffled by annoyance. This expression is not just about being annoyed, it's about how that annoyance affects us. Let's dive into the nuances of this phrase and see how understanding it can enrich your English communication skills. Firstly, let's break down, ruffled. In its literal sense, ruffled refers to something that's been made less smooth or neat. Imagine the way a calm pond might look if a breeze disturbs its surface. Metaphorically, when we apply it to a person, it describes a state of being disturbed or agitated. It's as if your calm, composed state of mind has been tousled, just like the surface of that pond. This part of the phrase sets the stage for a reaction to an external stimulus, which, as we'll see, is annoyance. Now, let's focus on annoyance. Annoyance is a mild form of anger, a feeling of being bothered or irritated by someone or something. It's an emotional response to a provocation that isn't strong enough to be anger or rage but is definitely more than indifference. When we say someone is ruffled by annoyance, we're pinpointing a specific trigger for their agitation. Combining the two, ruffled by annoyance, vividly describes a person who has been disturbed or agitated by something mildly irritating. It's a wonderful example of how English can pack a lot of meaning into just a few words. This phrase conveys not just the presence of irritation, but also its effect on a person's composure and state of mind. It implies a visible or noticeable change in demeanor, suggesting that the person's usual calm or neutrality has been disrupted. Understanding how to use, ruffled by annoyance, can add depth to your communication. It's perfect for situations where you want to express that someone's irritation is evident in their behavior or appearance. For example, despite his best efforts to remain calm during the meeting, you could tell he was ruffled by annoyance at the repeated interruptions. And that wraps up our exploration of, ruffled by annoyance. This phrase is a beautiful example of English's ability to capture complex emotional states succinctly. By understanding and using such expressions, you can communicate more precisely and vividly. We hope this video has illuminated this intriguing phrase for you and perhaps even inspired you to share how you felt, ruffled by annoyance, in your own experiences. Thank you for joining us, and happy learning!